Volleyball is not expensive sport, but how much does volleyball equipment cost? How much do you pay for clothing and other equipment? I answer that in this video. But first, let's take a look at whether volleyball is an expensive sport. I would argue that volleyball is not an expensive sport for at least two reasons. First of all, volleyball is a team sport and most team sports are among the less expensive sports in terms of equipment. We need a similar cheap equipment for volleyball or basketball as we do for football. Volleyball is not an individual sport like uh, say tennis, which costs uh, tens of thousands of dollars a year if you include training and traveling. With volleyball, you don't have to worry about uh, similar costs. You don't have to worry about uh, your parents or you having to take out a loan to play volleyball. Secondly, because volleyball is played primarily indoors and in the halls, you don't need expensive outdoor equipment or winter clothing like you would for skiing or mountain biking. So let's take a look at what you need uh, for volleyball and how much each item of volleyball equipment will cost you. I start from the top. Every volleyball player plays uh, volleyball mostly in a shirt or jersey, but in the vast majority of cases the club will provide a jersey and you don't have to pay for it. If it's uh, cold in the hall, you might see a volleyball player in a hoodie, but you won't feel comfortable playing in a hoodie. At least uh, I had a hard time attacking in it. So we play in a shirt that uh, should be lightweight, uh, it should have uh, short or long sleeves uh, to keep our shoulders warm through practice. The volleyball shirt uh, should also be long enough that our backs uh, don't peek out uh, when blocking or attacking. Many companies uh, make shirts for volleyball, but you don't have uh, to have a shirt specifically for volleyball. You can actually use any sports shirt, uh, it can be a running shirt or a fitness shirt. Most of these uh, sport t-shirts have good properties, they wick sweat away from the body quickly, they are stretchy and can withstand a lot of machine washing uh, before their properties or color change. But how much will a volleyball shirt cost you? Count on a price of around 20 to 50 dollars. Depending on the brand, you can get a short sleeved uh, shirt from Nike, Adidas, Mizuno or A6 for 25 dollars or you can get uh, a long sleeved shirt which maybe girls use more for a higher price. Either way, you don't have to invest uh, more than $50 in a volleyball shirt. Rather, get a few good quality shirts that you will rotate for practices, because you shouldn't use any shirt for several practices in a row. Next, you need shorts for volleyball. The vast majority of volleyball players play volleyball in shorts. Girls and women, on the other hand, use uh, elastic shorts or shorter leggings. Shorts are definitely a good choice because they don't hinder your movement and you can also use knee pads that you don't have to put on over long sweatpants. Good shorts shouldn't squeeze or restrict you in any movement. They shouldn't press on your stomach when you wear them. They should be stretchy, made of a material that wicks away sweat. Volleyball shorts uh, should not have a pocket. Uh, you can catch your fingers on the pocket when jumping or defending in the field and that's a danger to avoid. Volleyball shorts are mainly made by volleyball companies like uh, A6 and Mizuno. But even here it's uh, not necessary to have pure volleyball shorts. You can find plenty of models from different companies uh, on the market and it's up to you to which shorts you get. Count on the fact that uh, decent shorts cost between 10 and 40 dollars. Shorts are usually a bit cheaper than a t-shirt because they require less material. Also when you are considering buying shorts or leggings uh, for volleyball, think about having several pieces of shorts that you will rotate during the week for practices. I can see spending two practices a week in a shirt, but spending two practices sweating in one pair of shorts or leggings is not a very appealing idea. So change your shorts after every workout. The third thing that uh, should not be missing in a volleyball player's uh, equipment are volleyball knee pads. Uh, knee pads uh, protect your knees uh, during falls and also keep your knees warm. Volleyball players who have uh, knee problems also use uh, knee braces, but I believe most of you don't have uh, knee problems. The market for knee pads is similar to that of t-shirts and shorts. Knee pads are made by many companies. Uh, personally though, I would recommend uh, knee pads from companies uh, that specialize in volleyball rather than companies uh, that just make uh, them as a part of their product uh, portfolio. Since knee pads are meant uh, to protect your knees, uh, you want that uh, protection to be as good as possible. 
and companies uh, that know what volleyball players need will offer specialized knee pads uh, for volleyball players. When talking about price for knee pads, expect to spend around 20 to 40 dollars. Sure, you can find knee pads on Amazon for 10 or 12 dollars from unknown brands, but I wouldn't recommend going that road and saving a few dollars. Invest in good quality knee pads, they will last longer, protect your knees better, and if you imagine that two pairs of knee pads should be enough for a season, when you train uh, three or more times a week, it's not a big expense. We also need uh, socks to play volleyball. We can play volleyball in shoes uh, without socks. Socks for volleyball should not be short just above the shoe. Also, the socks uh, should help us in protecting our body and keep the Achilles and the part of the calm warm. Therefore, use socks uh, that are at least uh, 10 centimeters above the shoe. For girls and women, uh, you can also see high socks uh, that, for example, players from the Brazilian women's uh, volleyball team wore at the Tokyo Olympics. A volleyball sock uh, should be comfortable, it can be made of cotton or elastic material, it should definitely not make your foot slip in the shoe afterwards. The color of the socks is often chosen according to the color of the shoes, but this doesn't uh, play a big role in functionality or price. Normal sports socks uh, that are suitable for volleyball cost 5 to 20 dollars. Count on your socks to last you several months, uh, some even years. Still, don't rely on one or two pairs of socks for volleyball and get at least five pairs. Socks should be changed after every practice. Thinking that you need to wash your socks after every other practice so you can practice again is something uh, you don't want to think about. So have uh, multiple pairs of socks available for your practices. One of the most important pieces of volleyball equipment is undoubtedly the shoes. In normal life we use many types of shoes, uh, from sandals in the summer to tall warm boots uh, for the winter. For volleyball we need specialized shoes, uh, shoes designed specifically for volleyball. We can't use uh, shoes for running because running is different from moving on the core volleyball court, where we often jump, land, uh, do quick sideways steps. I'm strict with shoes and I really recommend using good quality volleyball shoes for your practices and games, mainly to protect your health. Using other types of shoes put you at risk of injury and subsequent weeks and months without volleyball. Mizuno and Asics are the most specialized brands in volleyball shoes. With them you will find the largest selections of volleyball shoes for both little kids and professional volleyball players, from low shoes to ankle shoes. You can also see shoes from Adidas or Nike on volleyball players. Don't choose a volleyball shoe primarily by its color, but by the features it offers. A good volleyball shoe will cost you 50 to 150 dollars. 50 dollars will get you a decent branded shoe that is mainly for recreational and amateur players. Even this shoe will do you a good service if you practice or play volleyball once or twice a week. If you are more involved in volleyball and have uh, several practices in a week, I would recommend uh, looking more at a 100 to 150 dollar shoe. This shoe will have uh, better qualities than the basic uh, models. It should be softer, cushion your impact better, uh, but at the same time hold your foot well and not slip in the hole. One or two pairs of shoes will be enough for one season, depending on how often you practice and play games. Make sure you don't use the same shoes twice in a day. They won't dry out after a morning training session, they will be damp in the afternoon. In this case, have two pairs of shoes available. Personally, through my professional career, I have used uh, two pairs of volleyball shoes per season. Sometimes they lasted me the whole season, sometimes I needed an extra pair. Every volleyball player should have their own ball. We need our own ball for our individual training sessions, for pepper or play with a friend or with our parents. Having your own ball is also good to have uh, if you want to do wall exercises. The most famous volleyball companies are Mikasa, which is used to play in the world tournaments in indoor volleyball or beach volleyball or molten which is strongly represented in American volleyball competitions. You can also find volleyballs from Wilson, the Tachikara or Spalding uh, on the market. A volleyball costs an average of uh, 30 to 50 dollars and should last you more than just one season. A drinking bottle is another indispensable piece of equipment for any volleyball player. Our volleyball practices usually last anywhere from an hour and a half to three hours. During this time we cannot stay without water. 
uh, you should not go through a practice without a drink. That is why we need a bottle and drink during every practice, which should have a minimum of uh, 0.7 liters. I don't recommend you to drink water bottled with bubbles at training sessions. You will put unnecessary strain on your body. Lightly sweetened uh, drink are ideal. Water alone is also not a bad choice. A drinking bottle will cost you around 10 to 20 dollars. Uh, make sure that the cap uh, seals uh, well so you don't have a bottle tipping over and leaking. It's also a good idea to make sure the bottle can withstand uh, transport to your workout in your backpack so it doesn't leak. Speaking of the backpack, uh, it's also an integral part of volleyball equipment for our practices and matches. We carry and transport all our stuff in our backpack to practice. Therefore, the backpack uh, should be big enough to comfortably fit our shoes, clothes, knee pads and bottle. Ideally, the backpack uh, should have a separate shoe pocket so that the dirty soles of your shoes uh, don't come into contact with your clean training clothes. It's also a good idea to separate the wet items after training. A few plastic bags or pouches will do. Separating things will prevent bacteria from multiplying and creating an odor. Be sure to remember to take things out uh, of your bag after practice or a game. It's not very pleasant to go to practice and have to put on a sweaty jersey or wet knee pads for two days. You can find a lot of backpacks on the market. Uh, some people prefer a backpack, others prefer a handbag. Expect a sturdier backpack to set you back uh, 25 to 50 dollars. Or you can also reach for a lightweight gimsack uh, which uh, has less capacity but may be suitable for uh, someone with uh, smaller shoes. So from my review of how much volleyball equipment costs, uh, you can see that uh, volleyball really isn't an expensive sport. If you want to play volleyball, you only need for clothes, uh, knee pads, shoes, bottle, ball and backpack uh, expenses averaging uh, between $170 and $420 for complete equipment. This equipment will usually do you a good service for several months uh, and sometimes uh, years. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.